Today, we're gonna to talk about this one thing that you can do to supercharge your morning routine, and we're gonna talk about how to assemble your morning routine. There's a lot of videos, there's uh, no right or wrong way to do this. If you're a hustler and you wanna make money, doing it this way will ensure that you'll make money every day. first thing you should do is pre-plan your morning routine, which means the night before, before you go to bed, or preferably two to three hours before you go to bed, because if your mind is really busy with ideals and concepts, you might not be able to go to sleep, but you will set up your agenda for the next day, the night before. Now, why is this step important? Well, there's this thing that's called prep work, or what I call prep work. Let's say you're writing a blog piece, right? And you don't have an outline, you don't have anything to enhance your flow, to create your flow, right? So you are writing and you are thinking, which takes a lot of time. If you were to take literally five or 10 minutes, sketch out an outline, you would write that blog piece much faster, much more efficiently, and you'll get in the groove. Same thing with morning routines. If you have an outline of what you need to do before you start doing it, you just wake up and you do it. Now this is one important deviation from most morning routine video. You need to dedicate your first hour of the day to something that makes money. Be it writing an email, be it creating a video, be it, this is what I'm doing, you know, since this is my mandate to put out three videos a day, which is kind of insane. This is my first thing that I'm doing this morning is creating this video. It's to A, get AdSense money, uh, B, to sell stuff, three, to create awareness, four, to get new subscribers. See, all that goes into making more money in the future, or I may even make some money today, but this is a money-making activity. So whatever it is in your business that makes money, if you're in sales, maybe the first hour of your day, you need to power dial. I know you're going like, what's power dial? Power dial is a thing that I used to do to jumpstart my day. I would try to call as many people as possible. I would create this sense of urgency and I would just like, boom, boom. And it would wake me up and it would get me prepared for the rest of the day. And often I booked a lot of appointments. Part of the reason that you want to create that first hour is you want to create a situation that gets you results, something that moves the needle, something that at the end of the day you can look down and like, oh, I got a sale. Oh, I got views. You need that consistency in your life to keep you motivated to do whatever you're doing, because if you don't get any results, more than likely you're going to quit. Then after you do your power hour of something that makes money, and this is something that you want to do seven days a week. Oh, I didn't mention that. Yes, because once you are ready, you don't have to get ready. And it's very easy to come out the groove. And the thing is, you don't have to do this the whole all day Saturday and Sunday. But I feel it's important if you're an entrepreneur that you still do something that makes money seven days a week for an hour, seven days a week, because that is 30 hours a month of money making activity. And it will show up in your checkbook. It will show up in your bank account and it'll show up in your wallet player. Then after your power hour, this is what you do. Then you tackle the hardest thing on your list. Now, why would you spend an hour trying to make money and then you've got this big task on your list that is gonna be substantial, that's gonna take a lot of time? Exactly, that's why you do your power hour to get some traction and then you tackle the hardest thing on your list because let's say the hardest thing on your list is writing a sales plan or maybe outlining a book. This could take more than an hour. This could take two to three hours. This could take all day. But since you had your power hour, your hour of money making activity, you will have something to pull you ahead. You'll have some traction. And then something else I didn't mention earlier is you want to make your bed. You want to clean up the bathroom. You want to 
uh, prepare your clothes and you want to have three to five things that you get done every morning. And I know it's going to sound very simple, but what you do is you program yourself to get things done. Make the bed. How many of you leave your bed unmade? How many of you leave your house looking like a tornado hit it? Are you guilty of that? Because essentially what you're doing is essentially what you're doing is you're not programming yourself for success. Making your bed, laying out your clothes, simple things, right? But they create these good habits of success that can lead to a lot of money down the road. How many of you who see ultra successful people who live like slobs? They don't. They can't because this is one of the things about the, your power hour. As an entrepreneur, you have so many decisions to make during the day that if you just allow yourself to be in a position where you got to make all of these decisions all of the time, you can you can suffer decision fatigue. I know it sounds crazy, but once you become an entrepreneur and you start having to deal with payroll, you have to start dealing with employees, the decisions mount up. So by creating this groove, so to speak, of this is what I do in the morning, you don't really have to think about it. You just automatically do it and you automatically program yourself for success. During your day, you should take five to 10 minute breaks of silence, not five or 10 minutes of Facebook time, not five or 10 minutes of YouTube time, but five or 10 minutes per every hour or every two hours where you just, you get up from your desk, you physically get up and you go for a walk, you may go make some tea, maybe have some juice and you contemplate and you decompress. Then you get back to work. That's my morning routine. It's not super fancy, but it's very effective because having that hour focused on money making activity adds up month after month, year after year. It seriously has a cumulative effect. All right. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to go below the video and see what today's special is. It could enhance your life.